Sunscreen is by far one of the most important products in your skincare routine, but for people with medium to dark skin complexions, it can be the most difficult one to find. On this episode of Sunscreen for Dark Skin, we are putting the CeraVe Ultra Light Moisturizing Lotion SPF 30 to the test to see if it's black girl approved. If you missed the last episode, I will link it in the cards above. Make sure that you're subscribed and click the bell to be notified every single time we put another sunscreen in the hot seat. Without further ado, let's get started. As I'm rating the sunscreen, I'm keeping 10 qualities in mind, and at the end, I will give it an overall rating out of 10. So the claims of this product is that it's an ultra light moisturizer with SPF 30. It's supposed to give you a matte finish. It's for normal to oily skin types. So this includes combination as well. It's oil free, it's fragrance free, and not only does it protect you from sun damage, but it also is made with three types of ceramides and hyaluronic acid to help restore your skin barrier and retain your skin's hydration. Now, all of this sounds like music to my ears, but we will be the judge of that. A little bit about the brand. So I've talked about CeraVe in detail in the previous CeraVe sunscreen video that I did for their mineral sunscreen. I will link it above in the cards so you can see that video, but I will highlight a few key points. So first of all, all of their products are actually created with dermatologists. So unlike some of the other claims that you'll see with some other products where it's been tested by dermatologists, which literally means they could have just thrown it against the wall and that's considered dermatologist tested, but these are actually developed with dermatologists and of course dermatologists recommended. The brand also specializes in creating skin barrier focused, simple and gentle products. They're affordable, they're effective and they work. They're designed for problematic and sensitive skin like myself, acne prone skin and eczema prone. So it's great for treating all the different types of uh, skin conditions that you'll have. In the previous video, I did say that they were tested on animals at that point. That was like what, 2022, I think when I made that video. Um, I'm on their website, their FAQ. It says, are CeraVe products tested on animals? They say no, CeraVe, CeraVe products are not tested on animals. Now also on their website it does say that they do ship to China mainland China and we know that in China they do require animal testing so they themselves do not test on animals but they are they are tested by third party in areas that require that testing but they themselves do not test on animals so take with that information what you will overall for the brand I really do enjoy their products I've been using them religiously for like seven years now um, the brand will be getting a point for me. Let's talk about the packaging. So this obviously comes in a sleek matte too, which you guys know I love because you can just cut off the tip to get every last bit of product in here. You can take your finger or a spatula and scrape it out so that you're not letting anything go to waste. Um, I think that the pump also has a really good flow. I do like the size and it does come with a plastic cap. Now, the only thing about the cap is that sometimes it does break. I've, I've purchased this product multiple times before and sometimes the cap, it's a cheap cap. It breaks sometimes or if you don't like clean off the end of the nozzle and you put it back in, all of the product will kind of go around here, which is not aesthetic or anything, but you get what you pay for and it seems like most of their money goes to the actual ingredients of the product because the packaging is so simple so honestly i don't really mind that just make sure that you're handling it with care so for the packaging this will be getting 8.9 let's talk about price and quantity the product retails for 19 dollars. i've checked a few websites some places you can find it for 16 some places it's a little bit over 20 dollars. i guess it just depends on shipping um but every time I've purchased this one in store, it was around $19 and it comes with the standard 50 milliliters worth of product. So you guys know, I like to do a little bit of math. We're looking at the daily average cost to figure out how much product you're getting, how much you're applying on your skin and how much it's gonna cost you every single time you use this. So this product comes with 1.6 fluid ounces, that's the 50 milliliters, divided by 0.04, that is the two finger lanes worth of product that you need for your face. 1.6 ounces divided by 0.04 is equal to 40 days. $19 divided by 40 days equals 47 cents every time you use this product. I think that's a very reasonable price, also considering that this product is usually on sale, so you can get it for about $15 or $16. Um, and also compared to all the other sunscreens that I've tried in the past that are usually around $60 to $0.70, cents, even when they're drugstore, when I do this uh, calculation, I think this is the most affordable sunscreen that I've reviewed so far 
even when it comes to the drugstore sunscreens that I've reviewed. So this one is like really on par. I have no complaints about this. So price and quantity will be getting a point from me. Let's talk about the ingredients, my favorite part. <laughs> First of all, I do love that they include the percentages of the active ingredients in here. This is why I love products that are formulated with dermatologists. From the active ingredient list, it is most definitely a chemical sunscreen. Um, it's made with avobenzone, homosalate, octisalate, and octocrylene. I will put these on the screen here. And this is a good mix of UVA and UVB filters. According to the Paula Choice website, they are all rated as best in terms of best for skin, good for skin, XYZ. So these are really good. They're using globally approved synthetic UV filters and, a, and good stabilizers as well. So this will help to protect you from both UVA, UVB. It also says it's broad spectrum, so we already know that. It comes with SPF 30, um, which blocks about 97% of the UV rays. You will never get 100, but 97 is just fine. For the active ingredients, I'm good here. For the rest of the ingredients, it is a water-based formula. I did mention before that it is oil-free, so great for a combination oily and normal skin types. Um, it has a good mix of moisturizing, hydrating ingredients, and ingredients that actually support your skin barriers. So it will improve the appearance and the quality of your skin as you wear it. And it also has really good soothing ingredients to your skin too. So if you do have irritation, hence the problematic skin, then it will help you as well. So for the humectants, this includes sodium hyaluronate, glycerin, pentylene glycol, glycerol stearate, I think I actually pronounced all of these correctly. <laughs> A plus for me. Um, they also include the ceramides, three essential ceramides. This is ceramide EOP, NP, and AP. All of these ingredients, I have them listed on the screen, so don't worry. But from these ingredient lists, I really do like the mix of ingredients they have here. I do love the percentages of the uh, filters that they have. Once again, I am not a cosmetic chemist, so there's only so much information that I have. But from my experience, these are all really good. And from the research that I have done as well, they're all really good. So for the ingredients, this will be getting a point from me. Let's talk about application. So this product glides on so easily onto the skin. Like it's insane. Um, it feels really cooling. There's like a cooling sensation, but it's not because of any menthol or anything like that. It's literally just because it's packed with so much hydration that it feels like water is cool if it's not under heat, right? Anyway, so it feels really, really good. And I think that that cooling sensation is fantastic in the summer. As the claim suggests, it is incredibly lightweight. This honestly feels like there's nothing on your skin. It feels like a water-based moisturizer, which is one of my favorite types of moisturizer. And of course, it blends in really quickly into your skin. So for application, this will be getting a point for me. Finish. So it does state that this product is supposed to be a matte finish. I am wearing it today under my makeup. Um, I don't really get matte from this. I get like a skin-like finish from this, but it doesn't exacerbate your oil. So if you're someone who wants like a skin finish, you don't want it to make you produce excess oil, it's going to mitigate that and control it and everything like that but it will still make your skin look like skin. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of like super mattifying products. I went through a phase when I was in my teens and I never looked back. So, <laughs> um, but it is lightweight, as I said before. Um, it's non-greasy, so it's not gonna give you any shininess. I've had this on, I have two layers on my face right now and I've, it's currently one o'clock. I've had this on since 9 a.m. and I have two layers on my face and we're good to go. Um, it gives your skin a really nice glow as well and it doesn't make me oily. So for the finish, I will be giving this a point. Let's talk about reapplication. So like I said, I'm wearing two applications on my face right now. It reapplies very, very beautifully. Like there's no pilling, there's no anything going on in your skin at all it just soaks in and this is most likely because it's water-based this is why i love water-based products um it wears well under makeup as well and it gives you a really healthy glow to the skin not dewy not shiny just skin like it also dries down so you don't have to worry about setting crazily or anything like that there's no oil exacerbation or anything right now on top of makeup this is where it gets a little interesting. Because there's a high water content in this product, I feel like it can lift some of your face products. Um, your 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 base, like base makeup products, right? Your your like your base makeup products, your foundation and stuff like that. Now, personally, I don't wear a lot of makeup. I don't wear full coverage makeup. 
um, I usually wear very sheer makeup so my dark spots and everything is already peeking through so having this lift a little bit of the foundation is not a big deal to me but it is something to consider it will lift up a good amount of your foundation also I don't usually reapply cream sunscreens on top of my makeup I usually use a different method to reapply um, but I know a lot of people do and that's why I like to include it so for me it's not really a big issue but anyway for reapplication we're gonna be giving this a 0 0.8 next is white cast I am very pleased to say that this has zero absolutely zero white cast on the skin so this is beautiful <laughs> Not really much to say here but it will be getting a point from me let's talk about fragrance so this product is fragrance free there is absolutely no scent here it literally just smells like a lotion um i did find that it did sting my eyes if my eyes got watery but i do think that this is just because it's a chemical sunscreen chemical sunscreens tend to be a little bit of give you a little bit of irritation especially it's allergy season right now so my eyes are a little bit more watery than normal if this is you as well i would recommend setting around your eyes with a bit of translucent powder and that usually helps to mitigate the chemical sunscreen eye stinging if your eyes are watering so for fragrance we're going to be giving this a point as well lastly we have flashback so i did apply this three times on my face and took flash photography and there is no flashback whatsoever so you will be good to go <laughs> so flashback is gonna be getting a point for me wow i feel so happy right now i love when i do great reviews i don't like to talk bad about things but i will definitely say what i truly feel you know what i mean but yeah um overall <laughs> this product will be getting a 9.7 out of 10. like i said before this is like my seventh tube of this product i have recommended this so many times to like everyone and my boyfriend swears by this product as well it's amazing i really do like this sunscreen if you're looking for one that is for oily combination or normal skin this one is what I would recommend. So that is the end of the video. I hope you guys really did enjoy it. Comment down below and let me know what are your thoughts on this sunscreen. I would love to hear how it works for you. As always, click over here to see some of my previous videos. Remember to stay gorgeous, stay fabulous, and I'll see you lovelies and gents in my next one. Bye.